Okay, so in this video we're going to be having a look at non-calculator trigonometry. And this is one of those crossover topics that can appear on the foundation or the higher paper. And we're going to build up to having a look at these kind of questions on the screen and figuring out how to do those. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so starting off this video with something relatively nice and easy. Now, if you are doing the higher paper, then there are more of these exact values that you need to know. And again, I'll link that in the description. But no matter which paper you're doing, these two values are absolutely essential. And they're really easy to remember. So you have to write down the exact value of sine 30, or you have to write down the exact value of cos 60. So really nice and easy, all you have to remember is that the value for sine 30 is 1 half and the value for cos 60 is 1 half. So really, really nice and easy to remember and just remember that if you are being asked to work out one of these values on the foundation paper, just make sure you write down the value 1 half. If you are doing the higher paper, there are other values that you can be asked for. And again, the video for that is linked in the description for finding all of the different exact values of trigonometry. But let's now look at how we go about using some of these values to tackle some slightly harder problems. Okay, so in order to be able to answer this question, you do need to have a good understanding of working out side lengths of a right angled triangle using trigonometry. I'm going to assume that you know some of that, but I will go about explaining this first one a little bit slower than the others. So we have a triangle. The hypotenuse of that triangle is 12 centimetres, we've got a 30 degree angle, and the side opposite the angle is our x centimetres, and it says given that sine 30 is 0 0.5, work out the value of x. And of course we're doing this without a calculator. Now if you know trigonometry well, you'll know that sine, if we draw a formula triangle with that, and I know there are other ways that you can do this as well, but our sine formula triangle is SOH. And there we go. So we know that when we're using sine, we're looking at the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So opposite the angle is our current x right there. We'll label that O for opposite. And the 12 is the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is the longest side on a right angle triangle. Our final side, which we don't need to label, so I'll do it in a different colour, but our final side is the adjacent. And in this question, we're not using the adjacent because we've been given the hypotenuse and we're looking for the opposite. So that's why we're going to be using sine. So we can almost get rid of the adjacent. We don't need to write that. So if sine 30 is 0 0.5, how do we use that to work out the missing side? Well, if we look at our formula triangle, we are looking for the opposite. So we cross off the opposite, and that tells us that we need to do a multiplication. We need to multiply S by H. S normally would be sine 30. So normally on a calculator question, we'd type in sine 30, making sure our 30 is in the brackets, and multiply it by the hypotenuse, which in this case is the 12. So we do sine 30 multiplied by 12. Now the question here has actually told us the value of sine 30, so it said sine 30 is 0 0.5. So instead of writing this sine 30, we just replace that with the 0 0.5 that it's told us. So 0 0.5 multiplied by 12. Now these ones are relatively nice and easy because you can actually do the working out for that pretty quickly. If you know how to divide all times by 0 0.5, you'll know that multiplying by 0 0.5 just halves the number. So half of 12 would equal 6 centimetres, and that would be our answer for this. If you didn't know that, or you don't like that quick method there, then of course you can use your multiplying decimals method, which is going to be a lot more important for our later questions, because these are going to get quite a bit harder, well, a little bit harder. So if we're going to do that, we take the decimal out, and we do 12 times 5. You can probably do that without doing column multiplication, but just for good practice, 2 times 5 is 10. 1 times 5 plus the 1 is 6, and then hop your decimal back in, and that would be 6.0 or 6 centimetres. So you can always use that method for any of these questions. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Okay, so on to our next question. 
Now again, we want to label the sides. It does tell us in the question though, cos 60 is equal to 0 0.5, one of those exact, exact values that we may need to know. This question's given it to us. Now when we're looking at cos, if we already know our cos formula triangle, that's C on the bottom and then A and H. So this is when we are looking at the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. And as you can see, opposite the angle this time, we've actually not been given that side. We've not been asked to look for it. So we're not gonna to need to use the opposite side. So again, I can cross that one out. We are looking for the hypotenuse though, and we have been given the adjacent side. So if we go to our formula triangle to work out the hypotenuse, we would cross off the H and that there is a divide. Again, in order to do this normally, we would do 6.5 and we would divide it by cos of our angle, and this time it's cos 60. So we do 6.5 divided by cos 60. Again, we have actually been given the value of cos 60. So I'm gonna write 6.5 and put the value that we've been given, which is 0.5. And that's the working out that we need to do. So in order to do this, Again, when it comes to the 0 0.5, which is the most likely number that you'd get if you had to do a division, then we wanna know a nice quick trick for dividing by 0 0.5. And this is one that comes up a lot in questions like when you're estimating on a non-calculator paper, they like to throw this 0 0.5 in. Because they want you to know that when you divide by a half, it just doubles the answer. Or in other words, if we multiply the top and bottom by two, it'd be a one on the bottom. 6.5 multiplied by two, well six times two is 12, plus the half times two, which is one, that would give you 13, and get 13 over one. So that answer there would just be 13, and our final answer would be 13 centimeters, or the value of x would just be the 13. And there we go, that's how we go about doing that. Of course, if you did have a slightly harder decimal there, which, which is unlikely, but I will show you one later where you could, you would have to just use your method of division, so hopping the decimals out and then doing something like the bus stop method to do your division. But this is how we're going to approach the sort of slightly easier versions of the non-calculated trigonometry, and as you can probably tell, you do need to have a good understanding of Sokotoa. But there we go, let's have a look at a couple of questions for you to have a go at. Okay, so here's two questions, so have a go at both of these, pause the video, and we'll go over the answers in just a second. Okay, so for the first one, given that sine 30 is 0 0.5, work out the value of x. Well, this is our hypotenuse, and this is our opposite. Drawing our formula triangle, S, O, H, and we are looking for the hypotenuse. So in this question, we are gonna have to do a divide. We have to do the O divided by the S. So the O is nine, the S is our sine 30, which it says is 0 0.5, so straight away, we've got one of these dividing by a half questions. So nine divided by a half doubles the answer. So nine turns into 18. So the length of that side would be 18 centimeters or the value of X is 18. And there's our first answer. For the second one, we are looking at cos 60. So again, if we label the sides, we've got the hypotenuse and we have the adjacent. With cos, we know already that that is C A H. And in this question, we are looking for the adjacent. So crossing off the A, we can see that's gonna be a multiplication. So cos, which is cos 60, which is 0 0.5, is gonna get multiplied by the hypotenuse, which is 15. Multiplying by a half will halve our answer. So that 15 is gonna turn into 7.5. So 0 0.5 multiplied by 15 is 7.5. So X is 7.5, or the length is 7.5 centimeters. And there we go, that's how we would approach some non-calculated trigonometry when we're using the values of sine 30 or cos 60. And for the next part, we're gonna have a look at using some slightly different values. So let's have a look at that one now. Okay, so definitely moving on to something slightly harder here. You can see that instead of being given an X, we've got the triangle, it's labeled ABC. And it says given that tan X, and we can see that we have our X here, is equal to 0 0.6, work out the length A to B. Now A to B, if we were gonna label it, is this one here, so we could say X centimeters or whatever it might be, so that match our last questions, but that's the length AB. We've been given tan X this time because we've not actually been told the angle. 
because there aren't many whole number angles that give you exact values. So this about this this angle could be anything. It could be I mean, this is a complete guess, but it could be 31.265 degrees, something ridiculous that gives you actually a nice decimal like 0 0.6. So we've not been told the angle, we've just been told that whatever angle is there, the exact value is 0 0.6. And we're going to use that to work out our missing side. Now the good thing is, we're not going to do anything different to the last question. We're just going to use a slightly different value, so it's not going to be 0 0.5. So we're going to have maybe some slightly harder multiplications or divisions. And that's all. So looking at this, if we label it up, this side that we're looking for is our opposite side, and the 40 centimetres is our adjacent. We know we're going to use tan already as it gave us tan in the question. So our formula triangle for tan is TOA, or tan is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. There we go. And we are looking for the opposite. So if I cross off the opposite, let's see what calculation we've got to do for this one. We've got to do tan x, and then we've been told that that is 0 0.6, just there. And we need to multiply that by the adjacent, and the adjacent is 40. So we need to do 0 0.6 times 40. And of course, we're doing this without a calculator. So this one, I think I'd hop the decimal out and do 6 times 40. Let's just do that over here. So 6 times 40. There are obviously quicker ways that you might prefer to do this. 6 times 0, 0. 6 times 4 is 24. So we get 240. Hop the decimal back in, 24.0. Or in other words, the answer there is 24 centimetres. And that would be our final answer. So as you can see, very, very similar, but of course we're not using the 0 0.5, so we are going to have to use multiplication methods or whatever method you like to use when multiplying decimals, but we do need to be very careful. Now one thing that's quite obvious in this question is even if you do sort of make a little mistake when you're doing your multiplication or you're, or you're not sure, too sure about hopping the decimal back in or something like that, you know what your answer is going to be around about. You know that the hypotenuse is going to be longer than 40, if we have that in the question. And we know that the other side there, it's not going to be 240 centimetres. So we, we can kind of use a bit of a mathematical guess there to make sure we get our number correct. But of course, if you're okay at using trigonometry and non-calculator trigonometry especially, I'm hoping that you're okay with multiplying decimals. Right, there we go. Let's have a look at another question. Okay, so this question here. It says here we want to work out the length of B to C. Now that's the bottom length just there. So let's label that X centimetres. So this time we're not using the opposite. So I won't label that, but we are given the hypotenuse and we're looking for the adjacent. So that matches what we've been given because A and H is in our cos formula triangle. So there we go. C, A, H, cos, is A, or cos X is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So plugging these numbers in, what are we looking for? We're looking for the adjacent, so cross that out. So we have cos x, which we have been told down here is 0 0.3, and we're going to multiply that by the hypotenuse, which is 6.4. Now I think on the last question, you may have been able to do that calculation sort of mentally, but this one here we're definitely going to want to write some working out for. So if we take both these decimals out, we'll do 3 times 64. So 64 multiplied by 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18, plus the 1, 19. And that comes out as 192. In this case, though, we took two decimals out. So we need to put two decimals back in. So it's going to go just there, 1.92. So 0 0.3 times 6.4 is 1.92 centimetres. And that is the length of that missing side there that we're looking for. So there we go, that's how we're going to approach these questions. So I've got a couple for you to have a go at and I've got an extension question or a challenge question for us to finish on. So let's have a look at those two questions. Okay, so here's your two questions. So have a go at both of these, pause the video there, we'll go over the answers in just a sec. Okay, so looking at these then. So we've been asked to work out the length of A to B which is our opposite side just there, so that's the opposite, and 30 is the adjacent. So we know we're using tan, so if we draw our formula triangle, TOA, and we are looking for the opposite. So if I cross off the opposite, we can see again that that's a multiplication. So tan x is 0 0.8, so I need to do 0 0.8 multiplied by the adjacent, 
which is 30. Now if we do 0 0.8 times 30, what would that be? I think that's 2.4, let's just check, let's work that out. So 30 multiplied by eight, eight times zero is zero, eight times three, 24. So yeah, 240, hopping that decimal back in gives us 24 centimeters. And there we go. So 24 centimeters for the first one. On to the next one, this is the hypotenuse and we're looking for the length AB, so that's the opposite that we're looking for there, our x centimeters. Again, we can find that by sticking the arrow out. So we're gonna be using O and H, which is sine, which matches what we've been given in the question. So to work out, we're using sine, we're looking for the opposite. So crossing that off, we've got a multiplication again. So sine x is 0 0.9, so we need to do 0 0.9 multiplied by the hypotenuse, which is 5.8. And again, this time we're gonna to have to hop both decimals out. So 58 multiplied by nine, eight times nine is 72, five times nine is 45, at the seven, 52, so 522. I've got to hop the decimal back in twice as we took two out, so that would equal 5.22 centimeters, and there is our second answer for that question. So we're 24 centimeters for question one, and 5.22 centimetres for question two. Okay, so there we go. So hopefully you're happy with those. If you are, I've got one more challenge question for you to have a look at. Definitely a lot trickier than these two, and you'll see why. So let's just have a look at that one now. Okay, so here is the final question. It doesn't really look much trickier than the previous two, but there is something in here which is a little bit trickier. So I'm gonna give you a second to pause the video, have a go, and we'll go over the answer in just a sec. Okay, so looking at this one then. Now it says cos in the question, and we are looking for the length AC. And the length AC is this one here, and that is the hypotenuse, and we've been given the adjacent, as we're not using the opposite over there. So we know we're using cos, so CAH would be our formula triangle, and in this case, we are actually looking for the hypotenuse. And if we're looking for the hypotenuse, that means we're gonna to need to do a division. And that means we're doing a division without a 0 0.5. So it's not just gonna be a nice, easy doubling our answer. So when we plug these values in, we have the adjacent, which is 10, and we have the hypotenuse, which is gonna be, or sorry, our cos value, which is 0 0.2. And that's gonna give us our hypotenuse. So in this question, we need to do 10 divided by 0 0.2. There are lots of different ways that you could approach this question. Uh, personally, I look at the bottom and I have to think to myself, what could I multiply the top and bottom by so that that denominator there is a whole number? There are a couple of different numbers that you could do. You could multiply the bottom by five, 0 0.2 times five is one, or you could multiply the bottom by 10, which always removes a decimal. So I'm gonna go with multiplying by 10, simply because it works for so many of these decimals, no matter what they are. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 10. It's not actually the fastest way with this method. We'll talk about that. But that would give us 100 on the top, and it would give us 2 on the bottom. And that's a nice and easy calculation for us to do, isn't it? 100 divided by 2 is 50. So our answer for this question is 50 centimetres, and that length there is 50 centimetres. Now, of course, you can obviously apply a slightly quicker method with this one or any other different types of decimal. 0 0.2 is quite a nice one, because if I did times the top and bottom, by five, then I'd have got 50 over one, and 50 over one is equal to 50. So you could have done that as well. There are different methods, and whatever you're comfortable with, that's absolutely fine. I just opted for timesing by 10, because it was something like 0 0.3 on the bottom, then there's not a nice number that times is to make one. So I think timesing by 10 is a good one that's gonna work no matter what decimal's on the bottom, but of course you might have to do some bus stop division if it doesn't divide very nicely. But there we go, that's how we approach non-calculated trigonometry, uh, and hopefully you found that useful and helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.